You would not believe who the artists are behind these pieces of art. Are you kind of shy? Do you think you're shy? <laughs> Meet Anjanine. She is 10 years old, and for someone who's shy, she relishes in the flow of the paintbrush on a blank canvas. Painting helps me get my mind off of things. Talking about my art kind of does, too. And she's not the only one in her family who likes to paint her emotions on a canvas. And Janine's three siblings, 16-year-old Anders, 14-year-old Matias, and 8-year-old Maya Cavalli, are the artists behind this exhibit at Sip on Sea Street. It's called Inferno, so... Obviously, um, got the fire in the middle, and it just shoots out like an explosion, kind of. And uh, with this in the middle, we used paint, um, and I used a straw to blow it out because it was liquid. I think getting getting youth in is just so exciting because there's not as many opportunities for them, and they have so much to say. The exhibit is based on the four elements: earth, wind, fire, and air. The art is intricate, like this piece by Maya called gold mine. So there's these little like beads. Um, so I painted the, the bottom of that gold and then I glued it on so it'd be like gold. I glued um, glit, gold glitter down so it um, stands for like dirt falling. It's also relaxing. I just did it and it, it felt, it was like therapeutic almost. The young artist got their appreciation for art from their mom, Trina Kadeh. It's easier to be expressive in a creative way or poetry or song um, than to like be angry and to express it. So, so giving them a channel, I guess, so that they can um, feel comfortable with that and grow up with that kind of comfort of self-expression. What makes this event special for the Kavali family? This is the first time the siblings have exhibited their art together in this cafe. Normally, as lots of other kids in April, we've had annual shows up until this year um, of kids' art on the walls in April. So this opportunity is pretty big. Yeah, this is huge for them. So while people are ordering their cup of joe, they can admire beautiful art. You want to get in here pretty quickly because the items are selling pretty fast. And you'll be happy to know that the Cavalli family plans to donate a portion of its sales to the Laurel Advocacy and Referral Services, better known as LARS, the nonprofit in the community that helps the homeless. For Laurel TV, Stephanie Johnson.